it is important that um, the Legislative Council can discharge its function both efficiently, effectively, and constructively. So it is important that uh, first of all, the executive and the legislative uh, institutions they have uh, good cooperation and uh, good exchange, so that. Uh, at the early stage of any policy formulation, uh, there will be uh, good communication so that the eventual solution that is designed uh, will be, uh, for the overall benefit of Hong Kong, practical and achievable. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, the legislative uh, uh, members will be able to inform the executive side what are the needs and wants of the community because legislative members have good liaison and good foundation with uh, the community in the districts so they will be able to know a lot of uh, the daily needs uh, of uh, the people in the street and if they reflect uh, these views wants and desires effective to uh, the executive uh, body, which is the government, uh, then uh, the solutions that will be designed will be most direct and meet the needs. In other words, the supply side meets exactly the demand side. That will be the most effective way of formulating policies. Time will be quicker. The solutions will be more direct and it will satisfy the community uh, to the most uh, because uh, this effective communication will ensure the best result is achieved. So I think uh, in these five years I will be doing a lot to ensure that the legislative and the executive institutions uh, will work in that direction. It is important that we uh, let our youths understand more our history, uh, particularly uh, the ups and downs uh, of our country, uh, so that, of course, they will be proud of our achievements, but at the same time, they know the difficulties and the hardship that uh, the country uh, went through. So that will make them uh, be uh, very direct and genuine with the feelings and emotions as a Chinese national. We do this uh, first of all through uh, the traditional education system where of course we will do more uh, on providing uh, educational material for them to appreciate uh, the different aspects of the issues and the moments that we went through. But of course, it's also very important that we do it through some soft uh, influences, such as uh, movies, such as through the social media, and also through what they interact uh, with um, uh, people of the mainland, so that they will appreciate the uh, thinking, uh, life, livelihood, and the developments of our country uh, in the recent years. And also they may participate in some of the activities that will make them understand more uh, of, say, the overall um, philosophies uh, of our country. But what is also very important is uh, when uh, we have uh, successful uh, achievements, then they feel part of it, such as the uh, mission of sending people uh, uh, as astronauts, as exploring space. Uh, these are great achievements and we should all feel proud of uh, the achievement because uh, we are part of it. And uh, this togetherness, uh, this participation and involvement is something we should be talking more about it so that we, can, we, we really feel uh, to be in the story to be part of the story and to be the contributor to the success of the overall achievements of a country. And that will 
make them uh, feel more uh, patriotic about our country. And also, when they go out uh, outside Hong Kong uh, to go about their business or talk about the experience and, uh, and, and, and what they know about Hong Kong, people, people overseas see that while these are very successful use of Hong Kong and they have their visions and they have good knowledge and they, they, they earn uh, the respect uh, of uh, the inter international community, that will also prove that uh, uh, the one country, two systems is a success successful system because it is not just uh, success in the, in, in the aspect of development, but success in quality, success in wisdom, success in broad vision of the youths uh, that have been uh, nurtured uh, in under the one country, two systems. We have to make Hong Kong a success by ensuring that it will have long-term developments uh, to ensure long-term stability and prosperity. Uh, so in these five years where we are going to have a stable environment, we need to be able to do the best we can so that we can achieve the best developments for the overall good of Hong Kong. In doing that, uh, we also have to ensure that we have managed uh, the risks that Hong Kong may face uh, in the coming five years, which uh, involves both uh, domestic risks and also uh, external risks. So what uh, I intend to do is ensure that we'll have uh, a good risk management system so as to be able to deal with threats and crisis that may uh, be threatening Hong Kong and also to uh, once consolidating uh, these stable and safe environments we can look ahead uh, to spend all our efforts uh, to, de uh, to develop Hong Kong uh, in different areas. Uh, already uh, under the 14 5 year plan and also the strategic position of Hong Kong we have a lot of um, uh, areas that we can uh, proceed so as to ensure that we get the best development opportunities and result. Uh, from my perspective, it is important that uh, developing Hong Kong so that we can uh, ensure uh, good economy and good benefits are uh, 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 acquired by Hong Kong so that the people of Hong Kong can benefit from the values that we have created. That is uh, why I will be looking at the uh, various issues that have been uh, bothering Hong Kong uh, over the years, such as housing, such as uh, livelihood issues, uh, such as uh, uh, how uh, people can get jobs so that uh, they can have uh, a, a very reasonable uh, living and working environment. So the main focus uh, of uh, the, uh, my government will be to ensure that uh, there will be good development uh, for Hong Kong and then people can benefit from uh, the values that we have created so as to address the uh, long-term problems that have been troubling uh, the community.